Hey guys, if you're like me, you probably spend a lot of time browsing around the internet for cars. Whether you're looking to buy a new car, whether you're trying to find out what your own car might be worth if you want to sell it, or whether you're just wasting time trying to find your fantasy ride. But there are so many different places to look for a car. How are you going to know which one to look at first, last, or at all? That's where Autotempest.com comes in. It's a search engine for cars. And what it does is it searches all the most popular car platforms at once, like Craigslist, eBay Motors, Autotrader, and Cars.com. And by searching all those car sites at once and giving you one concise list of results, you know you're spreading that umbrella as far as it will go. So whether you're looking to buy, sell, or just browse in Fantasyland, check out Autotempest.com now and find your dream ride. Good morning, everybody. I am uh, in New York today, and uh, I wasn't going to film any videos while we are in New York, but... It's my friend Matt. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Uh, from back in the day, Matt Ivanhoe, car collector extraordinaire. <laughs> Give you a title. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, he was like, listen, Matt, come drive my DB4 Series 2. So this is it. Aston Martin DB4 Series 2 modified. Matt, tell me everything about this amazing vehicle. So it has its numbers matching engine that's been, uh, been hogged out to 4.2 liters. Oh. I like the term hogged out. I'm going to go with hogged out. We have to go windows up yeah, so we, we can get some we, sound in here. We hogged all, out to 4.2 liters. Nothing wrong with the hog. Which we'll is hogging out a little bit. The uh, Tadic Merrick uh, design, famous the Aston six. engine builder. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of all their engines up until the the Vanquish really were mm -hmm. his design. Yep. And uh, the beautiful straight six. Let's uh, let's fire it up. Oh yeah. So just key and start. Just fire it up some more. <laughs> oh man! So, this uh, the DB4 was uh, body by Touring. Uh, yes, body it was designed designed by Touring, and um, oh my God, listen to that. Yeah, the uh, the this bodies were built glorious. in um, the bodies were built in the UK, but it was designed by Touring um, and built it was and built was, at Newport Pagnell. Yes, yes. This, wasn't this the first car built at Newport that Pagnell? That is absolutely correct. And my Aston Vanquish was the last car built at Newport Pagnell. Absolutely oh, correct. Let's go. This right. is going to be the best. Oh, oh. What's the red line? Uh, red line is 55. Um, it's all. It's a. It's, it's a torquey thing. So Listen delayed. to that. Four-speed gearbox with no power steering. Nice oh my time. god. So originally this engine was a 3.6, right? And now it's punched out to a 4.2. Yeah, originally a 3.7, now a 4.2. Yeah, 3.6 and a half, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so it was originally a 3.7, now a 4.2, done just on bore. So uh, so basically you machine the block a little bit, put larger liners in it since it's an alloy block with liners. Um, and uh, it's a stock stroke, has bumped compression, uh, slightly bigger cams, a little bit of little bit of a valve job and uh, other than that it just has a uh, has some better sway bars better um, you know upgra upgraded bits in the suspension and this slightly lower properly strikes. hot rodded vintage Aston it's a little hot rod I'm gonna die it's also a little hot <laughs> but listen to it the sh and the shifter's just a nice little snick snick mm -hmm. there's a lot of traffic up here folks I'm sorry there's it's a it's a Sunday afternoon there's cars Very comfortable. So I, my, there's some like it, the big old steering wheel with the legs. That's weird, right? It's, it's kind of just up in my knees here. <laughs> it's, it's all right. It's getting getting a little close to being up in the business, but you know the car. And you drive this car like a lot, a right? lot, a lot, a uh, lot, a lot. Yeah, I, I take it on uh, on vintage rallies like the Colorado Grand and things of that ilk. I actually, uh, in the last two weeks, I've driven it about a thousand miles. That's um, The odometer indicates 7539. Is that yeah. since Arresto or is it? Rolled over. Oh, it's 107,000 Rolled over, yep. Miles, okay. Yep. So, it's, Man. Yeah. It's very comfy. Thank you. Yeah. It's very comfy. It's very British feeling. It's got a great cabin, light and airy in here. And it's got this, the base note 
got a base track that is really excellent. <laughs> now this light here, I think we turn left onto a lovely road. Beggars can't be choosers, folks. Aston DB4. Uh, and go. Here we go. This is a good road. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Torquey little bugger from a thousand RPM. Lay into it. Describes it as just like a teddy bear that you just want to hug. It is. That's actually a very, very good. Oh, oh, no power steering. Oh. At <laughs> the one time. The one time you need. Oh, there's. It's got a sync road first though. How about that? It's actually non-sync road. It's just, not. You're, you're just a skillful driver. <laughs> <laughs> it has this. It's like a trombone kind of sound, right? Yep. Yep. It's a. It's this mark that I just. I don't really hear in modern cars. It just doesn't. Oh. It, it has a. It has a. Not unlike an E-Type, similar yes. to an E-Type. Yes, actually. very. That's very true. Yeah, we got a 4.2 straight six, so similar to an E-Type. E yeah. Oh no, this. If this Buick LaCrosse is not going to let me buy, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> that, that may be a Regal. Now that I think about it, but, but we need to. We need. I need room to run this bad boy. Oh wait, where's my passing zone? Can I do it? Yep. Oh. Oh, man. It's glorious. motor probably made 300 you said like gross horsepower like they would yeah. have called it because a standard db4 would have been 240 yeah with a three to three seven that's correct so this is punched out to maybe 300 but it's probably like between 210 and 220 of the tires you think yeah maybe? probably about that i mean so it's helped along by the fact that it has vantage spec um su set up on it so it's been so it which now has triple carbs, right? Triple carbs, triple SUs. So now it's triple SUs on it instead of the two. So that helps it along a little bit. I'd say it's probably, yeah, 300 gross, which is definitely a little adventurous. Probably, yeah, to your point, 210. It's so wheel. nice to drive, though. I want this as a Pebble Beach car. I don't <laughs> want to take it to a track day, but just as a nice nice cruise through these uh, uh, down uh, kind the, of the New York, Connecticut, Rolling Hills. This is definitely a Pebble Beach car, though. Let's it's got balls. Yeah, thank you. It's really got balls. It's, and it's funny because I mean I, I send this oftentimes like when I'm at shows, um, I'll, if I have a spare space on the trailer, I'll throw this on. 
and I drive it around and I call it the rental car because I drive it as my rental car. That is so... I hate you because that's how you roll. <laughs> I mean, I want to be your friend, but I don't think I can be your friend because you're referring us to, the, to the DB4 G... That's not a GT. No, no, I, no. It feels... I, I want to say it's a GT because of the extra power, but it is uh, not a GT. Yeah, the the pedals are a little weird for heel towing for me. My, yeah. And it's not because of the actual pedals, it's because that's where the rim of the steering wheel is. You said treat this like a car, so I'm gonna do this. Drive. This is the car, this, this is me treating it like a car. Yeah, drive it. Oh yes, open season, here we go. Just listen to this. You know what it's got? It's got like a carry, you know? Yep. Because there's like, you know, there's some loud cars, but this one, you hear it trail away. Yeah. Like when you were doing the drive-bys, I could really hear it. The sound carries so nicely. That's cool. You know, admittedly, I never actually heard the car from, from outside. outside. No, I never have. Oh, well, when we're done with this video, you stand yeah. on the side of the road and I'll do it. Sweet. It's, it is truly something awesome. of beauty. Awesome. Wow, what a treat, man. Thanks. Thank you, man. What this else? Is, is there anything else neat and weird about this car that we should know about? I mean, it's... Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I went over the suspension stuff, the uh, the engine stuff. I mean, other than that, the Series 2 um, has the uh, the big hood scoop, which, you know, looking down the camera, you can see it's got bigger hood scoop. Series 1, you know, Series 1, 2, and 3 cars had that, and then the four, fours and 5s went to a smaller one that carried over the DB5, and, you know, just little differences between them, but uh, Series 2, to me, I think is sort of the purest expression of the car, which is why I, uh, why I saw one out. Uh, this is an amazing car. Amazing. Thank you. It's really nice to drive. It's a little tricky to find third from second. That's a little notchy yep. if you're not used to kind yeah, of it's guiding kind of over, it over. Uh, yeah. 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 It doesn't have like a self-centering thing really. Yeah. Or if it does, it's weak, but yeah. damn, this car is dope. Thank you. It's, it's actually, it's quite forgiving to drive. It's oh, not yeah. like the brakes feel normal and everything about it feels remarkably normal. No, there's there's a reason I, I mean I, I for for long for long distance events there's a reason why this car is such a you know a such a popular thing. choice because it is so good at what it does you know it just goes no complaints you can is drive it, a, is it reliable bulletproof I it mean, is I've, really I've driven yeah I mean literally this season I mean I, I just picked it up from uh, from my friend who uh, who was telling me like I, I said to him like just check it all over and he said dude you're you're paranoid. This car is driving brilliantly, and this is a guy who only works on these cars. It's like the car is sorted, it's reliable, and I mean, I drive this car all over the place. I drove a thousand mile rally, and I didn't That's metaphorically crazy. didn't need to pop the hood. No, it's 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 such a beautiful car. Wow, really nice to drive. I'd love to go on a highway tour and just cruising it. You should. Thanks, man. That's awesome. My pleasure. Man. You get to plug anything you want. You want to plug anything? Um, my uh, my new business. I what guess. is it? Plug the, it away. The Cultivated Collector. I buy and sell investment grade classic and exotic cars. Is this for sale? Uh, this one is not for sale, but everything else is. All right. What's the website? <laughs> uh, www.thecultivatedcollector.com and on Instagram at thecultivatedcollector. Great. I'll put everything in the video description Thank for you. you. I'm sure this has always been a man of taste in my circle. So I appreciate if, that. if he says he's got a nice car, chances are he's got it's a nice car. Thank um, you. Now you should get out, and I should do a drive yes, by for you. You should go. Rob thanks on for it, man. thanks for letting me have a go. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. See you later. Bye, Matt. Take it easy. <laughs>